management information systems versus supply chain management, which has the better job prospects. That is what we're going to be talking about today, guys, in this video. Now, let's get to the video. What is up, Ladder Clemmers? This is Antoine Wade, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the job prospects between management information systems and supply chain management, which has the better job prospects, guys. Welcome back to the Black Hat Channel, where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, do me a stone cold favor and stump that like button as it helps us grow the channel. Now, let's jump right into this video. So let me just give you guys a quick definition between both. Management information systems basically combines programming and computer science to that of business and management strategies to really make the world better. It allows for a person to understand the technology, the business and processes to come up with solutions to make human life better. Now, what is supply chain management? Supply chain management is basically handling the entire production flow of a good or a service starting from a raw component all the way to delivering the final product to the consumer. And a company creates a network of suppliers. So think about it, like you talk about supply chain, so think about like a link, a link and it's a network that moves the product along from the suppliers of raw materials to those in the organizations that deal with the users directly. And there's many components of the supply chain itself. There's planning, there's sourcing, there's manufacturing, there's delivery, logistics, and there is returns. So those are the definitions by my definition of what management information systems is and what supply chain management is. So let's talk about the job prospects of both. And I like to use sites such as the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. They are known for having a lot of information regarding different majors and a lot of information about salaries and jobs and things like that. So if you look at information systems majors, if you look at the median pay, it's $151,000 per year. And typically you have to have a bachelor's degree in the number of jobs in 2019 was 461,000. And the job outlook is about 10%. So that's a lot faster than the average. And typically what you end up finding is that the pay is higher when you have a technology background. And what does it take for you to be a uh, information systems manager or a computer information systems manager? It's basically a uh, management information systems degree, right? So management information systems usually includes the business classes and things like that. But overall, you see what the overall pay is, about $72 per hour, uh, and the median pay is about $151,000 per year. And there are many, many jobs that you can actually get with this uh, uh, major. Like I always talk to you guys about, there's many jobs that you can get with this sort of major. And what else is in here? Um, what do they do? So let's jump over here. Uh, the type of roles that they can actually get into. So as you continue to climb the ladder. Of course, you can be a CIO, a CTO, IT directors, information security directors, and there's tons more guys. I'm talking about like business analysts and things like that, systems analysts. Um, let's jump over to uh, the different industries that you can work in, computer information systems, finance and insurance, management companies, manufacturing, and supply chain and things like that too, right? So it is quite easy 
to make a lot of money in the management information systems uh, with the management information systems major in the types of uh, qualities that you need is to be analytical, which is what they teach you in a class with the technology, the business skills, the communication skills, the dec decision making skills, leadership skills, as well as organizational skills. So fantastic major, um, fantastic major, which I absolutely love. And let's look at the job outlook. Let's go here. The job outlook, guys, it's it's insane. Ten percent or higher, right? So, I mean, like this is this is U.S. news. This is the the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and they're telling you guys that you know being in IT, being in management information systems majors, is going to get you paid. And what are some of the similar occupations that you can have? Well, of course, these are the types of different roles that you can get into, right? Um, and we've talked about those in prior videos, but computer information research scientists, computer hardware engineers, you know, computer programmers, computer systems analysts, database administrators, you can, that's the thing about a management information system degree, guys, is that it's so flexible to where you can go just about any single route that you choose, whatever you have a, you know, an interest in that you can really dive deep into that interest and niche down and make a lot of money. Now let's talk about supply chain management degrees, guys. So now let's talk about supply chain management degrees um, in the job outlook there. Uh, as a supply chain management um, major, you can make a lot of money as well, too. The Bureau of Labor Statistics shows that the median pay for somebody who is a logistician, which is a person that analyzes and coordinates the organization's supply chain, the median pays about $76,000 per year. So obviously you can see that management information systems majors work or are paid more, at least um, from a median pay perspective. This requires a bachelor's degree as well. So the job outlook isn't as high as what you see in uh, are for management information systems majors and the employment isn't as high either. But what do you need to do to become a logistician? You need to have at least an associate's degree and you need to work in logistics or supply chain. Um, majority of the programs or the majority of the jobs that you can get to become a, or work in a supply chain, you're gonna need a bachelor's degree and um you know the some of the top qualities that you're going to need is to be able to communicate to be able to critical think and have really good customer service skills and organizational skills and problem solving skills so another fantastic fantastic area that you can go into and supply chain is starting to explode right for some reason the bureau of labor statistics is only showing the um, the logisticians, right? But there's other roles that you can get in supply chain, such as becoming a planner, working in procurement that allows for you to make more money that I don't think that's taken in consideration um, of this. So actually it is because it's talking about managing the product's life cycle. So I think they encompass it all, right? That, um, that uh, is part of the supply chain and they lumped it into a logistician and pretty much just said what the median salary is but obviously you guys can tell that management information systems make more money and another thing about management information systems is that you can work in supply chain i am a management information systems major and i've been in the supply chain industry my entire life right so i have never worked for a supply chain and logistics company i work for a technology company that actually delivers supply chain software but i've spent days and years into logistics um, hubs into distribution centers and you know working with technology to help companies um, improve their supply chain so management information systems is the win here you can obviously tell from the statistics and it gives you the flexibility to go into supply chain management vice versa if you went directly and majored into supply chain management although it is a fantastic degree guys 
what you're going to find is that you're pretty much not going to be able to get into technology unless you get a master's degree or something like that, or unless you self teach yourself guys. So, you know, when I think about uh, IT degrees or STEM degrees and things like that, try to have something that focuses around technology is going to pay you more and you can go multiple ways and management information systems allows you to do just that guys guys i hope you have enjoyed the video leave me a comment on any of these points or these topics and as you know i will respond that helps this channel grow guys also if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel do me a favor hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that new content. And until next time, y'all, peace.